about what? Cow. The cow of who? Who were ordered to slaughter the cow? Yahud. Very good. Allah told Musa they wanted to to find out who killed that man. Surah Al-Baqarah opens your eyes. It's just we, we don't know how to deal with the Quran. That's why. Yeah. Look, Allah said to Musa, السلام, because the people came to him and said, Oh Musa, if you are truly prophet, we want to know who killed this man. One of them was killed. He said, okay, I will ask Allah to help me. Allah told them, tell them, slaughter a cow. Slaughter a cow. I will tell you. They, they argued with Allah. The Jews argued with God. Because who was, who was the representative of Allah? Who represented God? Yeah, speak up. Very good. Musa alayhi salam. So Musa was representing Allah. Right? And the, this group of people, Jews, they were arguing with Musa, meaning they were arguing with God. Because Musa couldn't do anything except what Allah tells him to do. So they negotiated and negotiated and negotiated about a cow with Allah. You think they will not negotiate about the land? A cow. Allah, all he asked them, a cow. A cow. If they slaughtered any cow, he could have solved the problem immediately for them. No. To tell you that the Jews, their mentality is they will keep arguing and arguing. Because with God and with his prophet who just saved them from Fir'aun, and they saw the sea opening, they saw food coming from the sky. They saw what Allah did to Fir'aun, and still they gave hard time to Allah and his messenger. You think they're gonna give Palestine like through negotiations? Forget it. That's why Allah mentioned Surah Al-Baqarah. This is it. Surah Al-Baqarah to me is the truth. Although jihad is mentioned in it, although hajj is mentioned in it, fasting is mentioned, it, it's Al-Baqarah. A cow, they couldn't slaughter it. Although they, they wanted to know. So they take your land and they're gonna give it to you just like that, through negotiation. That's why Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned everything for Allah in the Quran. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Palestine will come back with blood. There's no other way. So we are just wasting our time with them, with them, thinking that one day they will give it to you. <coughs> Nothing was taken by force and was regained by peace. Nothing. How did Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam take Mecca? Are we better than Rasulullah? Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Are we better? Okay. When he went to Mecca to take it, what did he take with him? 10,000 men. You fight, we kill you. He brought power with him. He knows. This man, why he was kicked in the first place 10 years ago. Learn, learn from Quran. Don't lie to yourself. Don't waste time. Allah showed us everything. Someone came and robbed you and took money forcefully from your house. Do you think he will one day just give it to you back? So stop, stop being naive. Muslims are very naive. I hate Muslims who are naive. I, I, I don't like that. Allah doesn't like that. Because you know what the Prophet said about the Muslim? He said, لا يلدق المؤمن من جحده مرتين. This scares me a lot. A true believer will not be beaten from the same hole twice. Meaning you are not a believer if you repeat the same mistake. That's the, that's the scary part of the hadith. If you repeat the mistake twice, it means you are not, you didn't get it. How many times we have been beaten from the same home, from the same people? No, oh, my brothers and sisters, wake up. This is the beauty of Quran. SubhanAllah, life without Quran to me is like a car without light. Yalla, drive, drive. And go fast at night. You will see where you end up. You need light, you need light. Noor. You may have good mind, but where is the light? Chahaya. You, you have good engine. Good engine. You, you are thinker, alhamdulillah, you are Khan, you are Hakim, you are Ka'a. But where is the Noor for your car to show you? You don't go far. So that, that's why the Quran, Allah says, the Quran, one of its attributes, and the uh, adjectives is Noor. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورِ وَبُرْهَانِ It came to you from God, Quran. Noor. 
light and proof, evidence, take it. No, we don't want evidence. No, my brothers and sisters, this is why classes like this, and this is why the number of people is small. Because, please understand, ihdina. Why every Muslim says ihdina? Ihdina salat al Chose us. Select. Ihdina here actually it means select. Select us, ya Allah. Make us among the few chosen. It's not given to anybody. May Allah make us among those who, alhamdulillah. Look, look, sisters, when death comes, brothers, you will not be able to read Quran anymore. Even if you want. In the grave, in the grave. You wish, Ya Rabb, just please allow me to read Quran. He says, no. I want just to read Quran. No. Halas. You had 60, 70 years to read Quran. Why, why you were not? Attend class like this. Why not? And when I say read Quran, doesn't mean just batcha Quran. Could be tafsir like this. So, this is not our lecture. This is just a coffee of Sheikh Zubair. Alhamdulillah.